That's a big needle. It's not for you guys. Oh my it's gosh. Just to mix things up. I'm so scared. Like maybe I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> Treatment. There's so many concerns with mm -hmm. just freezing your face. Of course. Mm -hmm. Expression. Or just a little bit of anatomy history. We'll so always take the education. So there's a few <laughs> muscles that we generally target when we when it comes to facial Botox. The on-label uses are forehead. This is called the frontalis muscle. This one typically you are distributing further up so that way this, the angry static lines like that, or even the dynamic ones, the first ones that we usually treat, those are the things that people notice the most. Next part, we get a little angry. We have three muscles here. We have the procerus, the corrugator supercilii, and the glabella, and all, exactly, the supercilii. And all of those combined are what makes the 11s, as everybody yeah. calls it. There's about kind of like a V kind of formation that we usually target for there, so we hit all the muscles together. So that way you have a more of a natural, flat line look without it, without any of the wrinkles that go along there. And finally, the one that everybody dreads and like, oh my God, we make cartoons and jokes about it. Big smile, crow's feet. And this is called the orbicularis oris, which is just basically a funny way of saying a ring of muscle around the eyes. Those are the three primary areas that we usually treat. They usually work in conjunction with each other. Typically, the 11s can be treated by themselves. Generally, we also try to have both the forehead and the crow's feet treated together because if you think about it, there's a muscle that's pulling up and there's a muscle that's pulling down. So if you treat them unevenly, sometimes it causes brow ptosis or even eyelid ptosis. There are things we can't do about it, but then you're doing this for three months and like nobody wants to do that. Rarely does that ever happen with Dr. Schaefer, if ever. Two years that I've been working here, I don't even think I've seen it once. We have a fantastic track record to go along there. Botox in general, it's a neurotoxin. It was invented specifically to talk about uh, blepharospasm, so like when your eye twitches. And questions about Botox, typically three to five days is when it starts coming into effect. Two weeks is generally when you fill up the full effect. Signs for bruising are not very likely for the most part, mostly because not much vasculature in this area, except for maybe one artery that's right over here. And we don't even touch that, so we're all good to go from there. <laughs> the menu is all ready and set for the table. What can I take for your individual orders? And what concerns can I possibly have? <laughs> we'll the mirror, we'll do it time and time. This is an interesting situation. I've never looked at myself and been like, let's do this, let's do this. Let's I know, this is very so against your nature, sure. actually. I know. <laughs> Point out little things or whatever things yeah, you. I think it's the concern that I know what my father looks like at 75. Okay. <laughs> my forehead, it's just I've seen the, the progression of the... Get a little angry for me? Okay, so the 11s yeah. are perfect. We can treat that no problem. Reason. Definitely. And then I have a lot of lovely lifelines mm -hmm. of just like texture. And so the, those, will the... come out, those will come out over time. We can definitely treat those today. I'm okay with looking on what I would call more of the natural side and embracing it. Okay. Softly. Okay. <laughs> the things that I think may be a concern that a lot of people have a concern on yes. are both the nasal labia folds and the under eye bags. Is yes. that correct? Yes. yes. So one of the things that we can add along the way, ma'am, yeah, go for it. Is cheek filler. So basically okay. this is for you now. If we put a little bit on the top of the zygomatic process right here, it picks it up a little bit, softens your nasal labial folds and can right. also um, sorry, yeah, fix no. the septa between the under eye bag that you have there as well as the cheek, no, pull it up a little bit. We can also add a little bit of bulbella, which is good for both the under eyes and the lips. It's a nice, softer texture to kind of bridge the transition between the two. A lot of people do that one, and most people are very happy. It's with like that dancing one. between. So that's, exactly. Where do we? Where do you place that for the so under? So tear trough filler. If you were to look into me, you can see it right here. Would be underneath area, right mm -hmm. underneath. Now there's a septum that separates your eye and your eyelid, and also the face muscles there. So we're basically placing it in between there. And then if we combine it with the cheek filler and pushing up a little bit there, that kind of fixes the drapery that goes around. Most people have that problem. I call it 3D eye. Exactly. <laughs> what would it do? It would soften the bag? It's not so soft, so much soft in the bag, but filler is more designed to basically fix the sulci, the folds. By giving a little bit more support, the drapery will pull across this way. And then the tear trough filler alone under here in, com in combination would create an even transition between the two. So interesting. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of that? I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm here for the people. <laughs> I'm here for everyone that wants to do this and is terrified. <laughs> You're taking one for the team, babe. <laughs> what would you say are the most common fears? Most okay. common fears are dissolving or mm -hmm. removing and undoing it. But because the Juvederm family is the hyaluronic acid family, 
carbon, which is a naturally occurring chemical within our body. It's used for a variety of purposes. We put it on our topical skin. But hyaluronic acid is used throughout the body to support a lot of the things. The benefits of it is you can recruit water, it's naturally occurring, it's reversible, as opposed to some of the other ones out there, which are not reversible. And it yeah. being reversible allows us to manipulate it. Exactly. So and remove it. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, the Jupiter family of fillers have different G prime indicators. I like to call it firmnesses and densities. I also like to explain it to some people in the way of like when you figure out steak, things like that. Volux would be on the firmer side where you have more like oh, a yeah. muscle there versus Volbella, which is designed for lips and tear troughs. The softer side, something that like the pillow of your hand. Exactly. That's how That's I really use it to nice. describe it. That sounds really cool. interesting. I'm fascinated. Do you want to try any of it today? I think I do. I'll get, I'll get the whole <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Awesome. I think you're more excited than me. Everyone's gonna be like, what happened to Alexis? Yeah. We want to swap seats. What are your concerns, miss? So for me, it's really this. You can see the lines. Mm -hmm. you we know, can definitely do a little to fill that out here. The cheek filler can also do the same thing by putting cheek It'll filler lift the upper, labial it folds. It lifts the yeah. nasal labial fold. But Dr. Schaefer can come in and help this guy smile yeah, a little bit like more. Yeah, like I definitely want to do something nuance. there, yeah. Otherwise, like, it's the, the 11s. Angry, the 11s. Yeah. Okay. What a gift yeah. today. Yeah. It's pro-aging. It is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's similar to the conversation that happens around like weight shaming. The Ooh, stigmas. The well, stigma that's thing. why I think this is so powerful because yeah. obviously we're educators on the internet. Yeah. I have to look to you guys for yeah. like the insider information yes. and yeah. like yeah, it's so helpful for people to see it firsthand. Yes. Yeah. And you don't know what you don't know. Also, as someone in the beauty space, I was like, I need to know what this is yeah. like. I was like, we're not going to do this until we go to someone who's a plastic surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Shaver is amazing. That makes the biggest difference. Everybody's anatomy is different. He feels and sees what you're your face. Yeah. So like the reason we say get angry is because we can see the anchor points there. I sat at a table at a, a dinner a few months ago. We were in California and yeah. we were with a table of plastic surgery. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is what that was fun. It was. That was very interesting. Boy, yeah. That shift my perspective uh -huh. in a very big way. And I think not that I'm recommending everyone goes out and does this. More so, this is an experience that I've been resistant of, but curious about and interested in. We don't even use filters on our platform. Yeah. And it's not so much even about insecurity or awareness, it's more just like, what are these? It's like using makeup as tools. Yeah. If these are tools within our toolkit, yeah. I want to understand them. I mean, they're going to forever be part of my repertoire, yeah. but I should know what they do. I would like to know. Yeah, no, <laughs> Make the decision great. from there as an informed... Education first. Yeah. Hey, Hi, how are you? <laughs> You've had it before? Like two years ago, once. What? It yeah. was, we did like a, we did a peaches thing. Okay. It was like research slash our wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the, yeah, it was an educational experience, yeah. but um, uh -huh. I had the, like my brow froze and they like lost lid space. Oh, okay. So you had like uh, some drop uh -huh. into the eyebrow. And then did they inject here, here, and here? Yes. They so did. what we'll do to try to prevent that, I'm going to inject here and here because these muscles pull the eyebrow down. So that's going to help you open up. Cool. And then I'm just going to do the top of your forehead. So you may still have a little bit of wrinkling here, that's but that's okay. going to help pull I'd the rather eye. have that. Yeah. You don't, a little more. you don't want to be smooth but look tired. I mean, just looking at you, yeah. like what I would suggest, the bone parts like we talked about, I think a little bit of filler on the cheeks here just to kind of lift you up a little bit. It's going to help change the way the light reflects off of your cheeks too so it's going to brighten yeah. up your eyes Natural and it give you more of that like youthful triangle of youth cool. which, I, which i think will be really nice get injected too i am oh, yes perfect. yes yes so i'm gonna be next okay. are we doing the under eye for her as you well you want to do under eye too <laughs> look how excited he is <laughs> there's botox cosmetic and i always show it to patients you see that little hologram right there yeah there's a, there's a lot of stuff out there about people getting fake botox so you want to make sure you're getting the genuine botox cosmetic relax that it's such a baby. Yeah. There you go. And then what I want you to do is just squint your eyes for me. Good. And relax. Okay, we're going to go three, two, one. That's it for that side. That was so fast. Come to the other side. Everybody's nervous about Botox and they realize it's like no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three, two, when they do it for the first time, they're nervous, but when I do a little, then they come back to the like, where else can I inject? <laughs> Round right here, good, and relax yourself. Five, four, three. And then the measurement is? So it comes in units. For you, we're doing 10, 10, 20, and 10. And that's because you said that you had the, the lower before. 
So this on the low end of normal, and then we'll see how you do, and then you might come back next time and say it was perfect, or you might say, well, let's put a little bit more in, and that way we kind of fine tune it for you. And then what I want you to do is raise your eyebrows really high, good, and then relax. So again, I'm going to stay high up on your forehead, but if, mm -hmm. if there's too much wrinkling, or they go up too high, I want you to come back and we'll put a little bit more in. With Botox, it's always better to need to put a little bit more than to put too much. And then that's it. I'm gonna give you a little ice to hold for a minute. Boom, boom. Did it hurt? It's like a little pinch. Little pinches. Hand, but it's the fastest little pinches I've ever felt. Yeah. And then it'll look kind of almost like mosquito bites for about 10 minutes or so. And then they go away. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna give you this to hold like the filler ready. Yeah. So it's nice on a hot day. Yeah. Nice. So how long have you been doing this, Dr. Schaefer? Uh, I've been injected for about 20 years. Wow. So a long time. Chief injection officer. So I know, right? <laughs> so, I, so it's interesting. So, you know, I'm plastic surgery trained. Yes. So traditional plastic surgery. And then right when I was graduating was when Botox and fillers and everything became very popular. Half of my practice is injecting and half of it is plastic surgery. So that way when yeah. somebody comes in, I feel like I'm not biased towards one or the other. You yeah. kinda, and a lot of it's like hybrid. So it is. we might do a mini facelift, but also do some fillers or you know, right. those kind of things to help kind of get the best results for the patient. This product is called Voluma. So it's called Juvederm Voluma, and this one is FDA approved for a cheek enhancement, and it's a hyaluronic acid product. So hyaluronic acid is naturally in your body. There's moisture molecules which are under your skin, and then in the laboratory, what they do is they make bonds between the molecules, and that makes it so it takes your body longer to metabolize. This one lasts up to two years, which is fantastic. The example I give is kind of like when you put gas in your car, so you don't wait for it to go to empty to refill it. So even though it lasts two years, you might have more injections every year, but not need as much. Right. You just kind of like fill in with that tank a little bit. I love it. For you, we're going to put one syringe on each side, which again is being conservative. Yeah, I like that. Too. I guess because it's because uh, it's the first time too, right? Yeah, like, with injectables, I tell people you want to think about it as a process. So it's not like you come in, like a drive through and then you're done, right? right. We um, discuss with the patients what they want, their goals, and then we kind of work up to your goals and do it as a process and kind of slowly get there instead of doing too much at one time. Do you have to train in dermatology to do plastic surgery? Okay, so they call it what the core group of injectors are. So plastic surgeons, dermatologists, and ENT doctors. And so mm -hmm. we've all gone to medical school, and then we do our fellowship, whether it's plastic right. surgery, dermatology, ENT, and then you can do specialized training in the cosmetic part of it, and yeah. that's where the, the training kind of comes back together again if you're going to do like Botox, injectables, because you could be a dermatologist but only see medical problems like acne, skin cancer, those kind of things. Or you could also do the cosmetic, you could do both. You could do plastic surgeon and only do surgery, or you could do the cosmetic part. And same thing with ENT, you can right, do right, like right. head and neck cancers, those kind of things, or also do the injectables. So, so just because you're a plastic surgeon, ENT or dermatologist, doesn't mean you're gonna be good at the injectables. Mm. So that's why somebody needs to do their research and make sure that they're going to somebody with experience in injecting. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This is the Voluma. So this one's different. So the Botox was a liquid. This is more like a gel. Do you see oh, how it kind of looks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a gel like that. I'm going to add some volume and then it holds down to the moisture in your skin. This is one of the thicker ones, which is good to structure the cheek. Whereas if we were doing, let's say, your lips or the one we're going to put under the eyes, it's a thinner one. It's not a structural one, it's more of a smoothing one. Mm, it really so, allows you to like frame the face and do yeah, what you need exactly. to do to sculpt. Is what yeah. I Right. Yeah. Right. So, yes. yeah. I'm going to have you smile real big for me. Good. So, you can see how the cheek is full when you smile. So, we don't want to put too much in that cheek and then make her very cheeky. So, we're <laughs> going to start right at the lateral part. So, you're going to smile for me. Good. Then relax. And you're going to feel a little poke here. And then I'm just going to inject a little bit. And then we'll move on a little bit. Good. So, that's one. And then I'm going to come a little bit more lateral. Two. You doing okay? Yeah. You're feeling Can you hear it? <laughs> I'm just shocked. Yeah, and then three. I can definitely hear it, yeah. Yeah, so kind of a weird phenomenon. Mm -hmm. So we can see just by putting that one bit of injection, do you see how the cheek is a smoother transition here? Yeah. And you get a little bit of shadowing there and the light reflects here. When you look here, it doesn't wow, reflect that's as instant. much. So it really gives you like an instant. Um, <laughs> so it's when you good. Take, take it's subtle, right, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Take your right yeah. hand and then yeah. hold right there. Good filler, you should not see from across the room. So good yeah. filler, <laughs> you should say, wow, you look good, but not know exactly. Like you don't know what, good. well, like what are you doing differently? Yeah, You're filler. getting more sleep. <laughs> when very obvious that you've had filler, then that's a problem. Yeah. Look at you, you're so excited. Well, I didn't realize you. It's like an instant result. Yeah. yeah. With filler, yeah. And it gets better over a couple of weeks. So now I want you to smile again. Good. Now relax. So we're going to inject. So these are deeper injections. So these are the structural injections. So see, even just with that one, before I do the rest of it, do you see how yeah. it changes the way the light reflects? Automatically. On the and then 
this is going to be number two. And you probably can't see in the film, but you can feel it that I'm putting it right on your cheekbone right there. Mm -hmm. So this almost like an injectable cheek implant. Three. It's wild. And then we're going to go one more. Four. There we go. And there you go. And again, it's very conservative. Each syringe, is a, if you look at the volume of it, it's about the size of like a blueberry in there. So yeah. it's like just a tiny little bit of gel. Under eyes, right? Yeah. Well, the under eyes we didn't expect. It was always the pain point for Alexis. <laughs> this one's called Vobella. The Vobella is still made by the Juvederm family of products. It's hyaluronic acid. The bonding is different in it. So instead of being a cohesive gel, like a thicker gel like we just did, this one's more liquidy, and so it's really great for superficial smoothing. So it's nice for under the eyes for the lid cheek junction. You said this Hello, one's thinner. Hello, yep. And this one we're gonna put in with a cannula. So around the eyes, it's a different kind of way to inject. So we were using the needle for the mm -hmm. Voluma. And so for this one, we're gonna put a cannula, which is a longer needle, but it's blunt on the end. So less chance of bruising, and it's safer around the eyes. Is doing okay? Yeah. You need a break? Are you okay? No, I'm, 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 my mind is a little blown right now. Yeah, but you look great. <laughs> I can feel my cheeks. Oh yeah. I look when you smile now too, it looks so great. Here she smiles for the lady. Yeah. Place. Really good. That blush That's placement's so gonna be great. Again, this is the cannula, so let me just show you this. So, so this is a little bit different and it looks scary at first. There's a longer needle, but it actually means you get less pokes. Because there was only one. We make a little poke through the skin and then we put this under the skin and, and then we're almost like painting the filler underneath of the skin. Right, so and then you get to manipulate it because it has yeah. those edges. The Voluma has some numbing already in it, so this shouldn't be too bad when I put this in. So just a little poke. Oh, I see. And then now we're gonna put this in. And then the placement under the eye is very important. So we want it really deep. So you're gonna feel it kind of going along your bone there. Mm -hmm. So do you see where the end of it is right yeah. there? So that's where we want to have it. And I'm just gonna put my finger here to make sure it doesn't go too high. And I'm just gonna inject and then I'm gonna move it. So now, do you see where it is right there? Yep. So then I'm just gonna inject right there. I can feel it with my finger going in. But you can see it's smoothing what we call the lid cheek junction. We want to make that a smoother transition. Right there, and I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there. That's it, and then I pull it out, and then that's it. So, wow, and that and you was can also see, If you look right here, do you see where this lid cheek junction is? It's here, and yeah. then here it's lower. So yeah. what we're doing, we're putting that volume in there, it's raising that lid right, cheek right, junction, right, so right. there's a smoother transition. So you won't see the little love stacks Not hanging as much. out. Yeah, yeah you don't see it as much immediately. That's crazy. It's not yeah. like extreme, it's just... Oh, like I don't want anything extreme. Like, yeah. It's subtle. I think and Dr. Schaefer and I are on the same it. frequency. Yeah. Well, you and Dr. Schaefer are going to be friends now. After you get one treatment here. I feel like you can attached to you. Like, like family. The <laughs> so again, you're just going to feel a little poke. There we go. And then I'm going to put the cannula in. This in. Take this out. And then you're going to see me push it under the muscle. And then, do you see where the end of it is right there? So then I'm just gonna put my finger on your rim right here, inject a little bit, then I'm gonna go up and see where it's right there. And you there. can really like sculpt it how you want. Yeah, manipulate I don't needles. want it to go too much into the lid there, but I want to right. get it in the right position. And then, it's, and then I want you to hold with your left hand there. Wild. Because, because this is flexible. My God. Flexible. You're alive to tell the tale. That was like under four minutes. That's yeah. crazy. You did awesome. Yeah, you did amazing. Why do people freak out? Sometimes they'll get a little scared. <laughs> you did, you did good job, babe. I knew I was in good hands. Yeah. I wasn't concerned. There's a confidence to your needling that just so makes good. us feel better, I think. So proud of you. Are you ready? I have bonus for four, and we're going to do bonus today. Yes. Right? Raise your eyebrows for me, and then frown right here, and then squint your eyes. Good. And then what about the I mean, the same thing would be good for you. You think? Yeah. I think your cheekbone action looks great. I think yeah. it'll look really nice. And then she has a flat right here. Yes. So we put just a little bit of that. I think we're cute. I really think so. Nice. So let's do that. Yeah. So just we'll the cheek button. And it will give that. We'll go cheek and then the other eye. Under eye, too? Mm -hmm. I think so. If go. I'm going down, you're going down with me. I'm gonna go grab the filly. I'll be right back. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. It felt like what you would expect, but it's not as bad as you would think. For her, we're gonna do Botox for the wrinkles. Bobella for the other eyes, and then Voluma for the cheeks. So one of the things I was really concerned uh -huh. about was this over here. Yeah. Do you think that that's that also? Lifting? So, wasn't sure, like, so the... in the studies on the Voluma, when you put some filler in the cheek, it's gonna lift it up a little bit. So. And oftentimes you get improvement in this area just by putting it in the cheek. Right. Because the one thing you want to avoid is having yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah, I don't. Want that. Yeah, so what I would say is do the cheeks and the under eyes that we're talking about, let it settle in for a couple of weeks. And yeah. then if you think you want it here, then come back and we do more. Yeah. The other thing to think about is you see your chin right here. Yeah. So the chin is kind of a softer chin. Yes. And giving you just a little bit more chin, see, like just 
clean it for me just yeah. a little bit. We'll help balance the face a little more. It makes the neck less better. So if you're interested, we, that's on label too. So we could do the chin today if you want. Or if it's too much. I think you should try it. I'm <laughs> fucking I going all out. <laughs> You're talking to two people whose lives changed in the last 18 months. We just, uh, it's YOLO. You look like lesbians wearing a card and she's searching How long have you been the lipstick lesbian? Like 18 months. Yeah. It's a great name. I know. It's very catchy. Put Baluma right here along the cheekbone. Okay. We're going to put Baluma on your chin. And then we're going to put Baluma on the cheek. I like the name. So, so smile for me. Just we see the roundness of the cheek. So we don't want to make her too cheeky. I'm gonna start right here, and you can relax now for a minute. And I'm just gonna go like this. So one. That's crazy. So you can see, even with that, do you see how it makes it smoother? Doing okay? Mm -hmm. Two, three. Wow. Put one more here. Four. And for you, I'm just gonna put a little bit more here just to make it a little bit rounder. Huh. Yep, pop it up there. Is see how now, you see, see the, the contour there? And then how the light reflects off of here, and it's a really nice transition. That me. looks amazing. I think this is like a new arena of self-love. <laughs> wow. See it happening right in front of your face, right? Yeah. Two. You have to be fearless with this, though, with the needle. You gotta wow, just... you have to know what you're doing. Right, that's what I mean. Three, like. Wow. Four. I want it to be a little rounder. I'm gonna put a little, wow. bit, a little deeper here. Wow. And there we go. You can already see. You see how like the, the how You like, look so sculpted, like, holy really, shit. Really? really? Yeah, in a good way. Okay. Poor Christina. Okay. You alright, Mo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alexis has a higher tolerance for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's very natural though, baby. Like it doesn't look like yours looks so natural too. We're getting a tune up. So just relax, so interesting. Relax, relax. Good. So I'm just gonna go right here on your chin. So it's gonna be just like the cheek but on the chin. And look right in front of your eyes. Do you see the chin popping out there? Yeah. One. Wow. And it's the different sides of it too, so it looks even. Oh, yeah. Yep. Two. Wow. That's it. And I'm gonna have you hold right there for a minute. There you go. Wow. Don't pop out. Really, it looks really good. <laughs> it's crazy. Talk about a summertime upgrade. So then, there again. So now we have a really nice smooth contour there. So the bloomer was thicker. You wouldn't want to have a thick fill no. right here. So this one's a smooth one. So now uh, switch hands. So you. Yeah. How much has this changed in recent years? Like it feels like it's modernized so much. Okay. Like in the you sense of maybe a few kinds of products, but they realize that there's different properties within the products, like how right. thick they are, how high for different they areas are. of the face. Yep. So then, Your cheekbones. Uh, so then what they found out. You can. <laughs> Wow. Instead of just having the two fillers we used to have, now we have, uh, I think, seven or eight different oh, colors. Right. So it's kind of like if you're painting a picture and only have two colors, versus right. painting a picture and having ten colors. We're able to you have more tools in your tool tool yeah, more tools toolbox. Your toolbox. Yep. We're going to have a little poke here. Good. And then I'm going to put the cannula in. There we go. You can feel it going under the muscle there. Did you see like the yeah. edge right there? So that's where I'm putting it. Really nice smooth. Now we can look at our chin. That looks so it looks good. Really, really nice. Let it all settle in for a couple of weeks, and then if you want, then we could do maybe another mm -hmm. touch up. Cheer. Right, right, right. I like yeah. The thing. yeah. Like, oh my god, I'm well, you, look so you look fantastic. The <laughs> you know, great thing about these products is, for whatever you don't like anything, there's an enzyme we can put in that melts so it, makes it go away. So right. It's, like good. A, it's a really great. You're, you're safe. safe. So weird. You look great. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You did it, Moo. We did it. Yeah, see the contour there? Looks really, really great. Thank you so much. And then again, the Botox will take about a week to yeah. start oh. working, and then it should be good. Thanks, Dr. Sheep. Our hero. We came for Botox Cosmetic, and we got so much more. Look at the result, first of all. We got Juvederm. We got. <laughs> <laughs> this was an incredible experience. Thank you, Botox Cosmetic and Juvederm. We did not expect to walk in and have this level of education and the attention to detail and just understanding the nuance. So interesting, but it's also so personalized. And this is something that I think is really important to everyone that's interested in these services and products. And look at these instant results. It's pretty wild. Wait, hold on. Look at me. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get used to this. <laughs> Why? Thank you. We're with Dr. Schaefer. Dr. Schaefer is this sweet human. I don't think I've ever would let anyone else put needles in my face. Dr. Schaefer is a plastic surgeon and aesthetic doctor, meaning he does Botox, fillers, but he also does plastic surgery. He understands facial sculpting. I've done Botox once before, yeah. before our wedding actually. And we went to a different style of boutique and I did not like it at all. In fact, I did it and I hated it and I couldn't understand, specifically because what happened to me was it actually closed my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little weird. This time, 
that didn't happen. So this is us two, two, three weeks after. We're doing our check-in. You can right come in. Now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this comes with the package. <laughs> I felt so much more comforted because Dr. Schaefer has the surgery expertise. Mm -hmm. So truly, even if something were maybe not necessarily ideal for me as a candidate, like with my under eyes, for example, right. to do the filler, because I have those genetic bags, I understood that if I wasn't a candidate for the less evasive option, I could talk to him about a surgery, which is a very real reality for some people. I've had thousands of people throughout my life tell me like, oh, what are you gonna do about your under eye circles? Like, right. And it's kind of funny because it's like, well, I didn't know I had to do anything about them until I really became an influencer and people reminded Accident. me. <laughs> there are options and I was investigating them and that's part of our experience and why we wanted to share it with you. I'm super, super happy in the context of what I had experienced previously that one time. I'm not getting that drooping. Good, good Where good. my eye is becoming smaller. I actually have one or two lines, but I kind of like them. Get a little angry for me, please. Okay. Yeah, Are nothing crazy. Like, yeah, that, so one of the things that uh, some people like to be frozen, some people like to have like, I, a little bit to a moment. Uh -huh. And I think uh, most people having the ability to emote makes you look a lot more normal. Yeah. More natural. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. prefer that. Yeah, I'm nice. happy with my emotion. Did you guys take any medications, like a Tylenol or anything like that no, to help with the swelling? Was it, it tolerable? With it was anything? tolerable. Yeah. It was it was a little painful to laugh. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, <laughs> for the first time. We laugh a lot. <laughs> we, were like, we were like, we must be really happy because it would, like, you know, it hurts hurt to smile. Yeah, 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 I was like, wow, it so, so hurts to laugh. And but no, I'm that still that good. Like, uh, like, like about a week and a half. Okay. Yeah. For me, right. it was like a couple days and then it mm -hmm. got softer and softer. Yeah, it just kept getting gradually softer. Yeah. To hear, just to hear. Yeah. Can you get a little angry for me too, please? Okay, good. Raise it all the way to the top. Big smile. <laughs> All right, it seems like we, all those things are immobilized yeah, it's nicely. Great. Yeah, it's And great. Uh, how did we feel about, I think it was, did we did some jawline and this It was, well, uh, it was just this chin. here in the okay. chin. Yeah, I think She loves her chin. Filler. I think it's great. That is snatched. That looks really good. Before. I'll bring him in in a few moments. You guys are awesome. Yeah, well, you guys are welcome to pop in whenever you guys need. Again, my name is Justin. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of a dance move on the way out. Yeah, you <laughs> should. <laughs> 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 Alright, sounds yeah. good. Thank you. How did it turn out for you? Good. You look good. Are you happy yeah. with that? Yeah, no, yeah. we were we were saying literally it's been first of all the first two days we yeah. were laughing at each other because we yeah. couldn't laugh. I know, oh, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. with the, the cheeks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But then Christina also was freaking out because one side was a little more swollen. It was yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. But then it went down. Yeah, yeah, it went down. I think it looks oh, great. Really yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Fantastic. I love it. Yeah, no, we're super happy. And the bow tie, really yeah, all oh, good. Like the no, um, so still natural movement, yes. but less wrinkles. Right? I love the, the natural movement. I didn't know that this was even possible. So this time we stayed up a little. Higher. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, it's cool. we're good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. We're happy. Let me see my VA. Good and then front. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it's really good. We're oh, super happy. Yeah. It, was, happy. it was a really good experience, education-wise really? too. Yeah, right. Just like feeling comfortable doing what we did. And Looking at you. No, we're like, happy. We don't even need to tweak it. it looks no, good. that's yeah. how I felt. And then just so you know, like Botox lasts three to five months. So right. every four months you want to do it, and Got it's it. and it's good to get that next treatment in before the first one wears off. And then the filler, generally every other Botox. So oh, like really? four months, yeah. filler every eight months. Because I know we yeah. did like baby filler. Oh, it was yeah. intro yeah. filler. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the next, time, next time we'll push it a little bit. Oh, no. Part of my job also is Keeping to say us no. Because yeah. sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you'll do it, it'll look great, and a patient will come back and say, I want more, and no. I want more is not going to be better. No, so for sure. So sometimes I'm like, no, this is good. And thanks, Dr. Schaefer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. Did it take you up to the terrace? No. <laughs> you want to take them up there? Yeah, it has a nice, like, panoramic view of the city. Oh, wow. If you want to, do you want to go? The... Let's do it. <laughs> Botox with them. you? Yeah. How did we end up going on a rooftop right now? I don't know. What do you think the biggest takeaway of you working here has been? Self-care and relaxing is more important than having a long, healthy life. Wow. Mm. I used to be an absolute workaholic. I still am, but I actually care about my own time now. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, is there another floor of Shaper Clinic? Oh, yeah, we have three floors. Oh, what? Oh, Mostly lasers and everything like that. Also, mm. we do heels and stuff like that. Right, right. We do hair removal. Not the type of thing. And here we are. Wow. Wow. Into the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Just, take the <laughs> Just, you know, Empire, the a little outdoor yeah. space. That way. There's the Chrysler, There's babe. The Chrysler. <laughs> wow. uh, we got a new one coming up over here, and it should come all the way to the edge. We can also see the burger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did not have this in the plan. Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, I
this on my bingo card today. Right? Yeah, the Burberry building's over there. You got wow. Comcast, UBS. Everybody's here. This is insane. This is beautiful. Wow. This is awesome. This is wow. Beautiful.